Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Rodney, and I'm back. And I just want to come and run my mouth for a quick second. The first thing is this. <laughs> I'm not mad at anybody for wanting to do the Lord's work, okay? I'm not mad at anyone for wanting to start a family or have a bigger family. I'm not mad at anyone who wants to, what do they say, be, be fruitful and multiply? Is that how you say it? I'm not mad at anybody who wants to start their own little Jackson 5, okay? Their own little DC3, okay? Their little boy band, a little girl band, right? Kiki White is pregnant with her 11th child. Kiki White is married. It's not like Kiki is out here just having babies all willy-nilly like Nick Cannon and the other ones, right? She's married. I think that this might be her second or third marriage, I believe. I can't remember. But... She has been in relationships with her baby's fathers. Okay, so it's not like she, again, she's just out here getting knocked up. There's this movie called Women of Brewster Place. One of my favorite movies. But Colored Girls, the movie that was by Tyler Perry, to me, that was really just an updated version of Women of Brewster Place. I don't know if they ever said that. Maybe they said that. But if, for those who have watched Women of Brewster Place, remember the character in the movie that always just liked to have babies? Now, this woman was not married. She just was a single mama just popping out babies. Kiki reminds me of that woman. Like, I'm not a doctor, far from it, but I always think about when I see people like this, especially in 2022, who like to have these humongous like all these kids I always think like girl something is there, is there an underlining issue to the point where girl, you feel the need to continue to have a whole bunch of kids like I don't know I mean she like it I love it but the woman in the movie she just liked to have she liked when her kids were babies like, when they were, like, toddlers and, you know, growing up, it's kind of like, whatever, I, I want another baby. I don't know. Shout out to Kiki. Like I said, it's not like Kiki out here just pushing out babies by some random. Kiki married. And I haven't heard any stories. That doesn't mean that it's not happening. But I haven't heard any stories of those kids being mistreated. Um, so... I mean, I guess as long as she's taking care of them and they're, they feel like they're loved and there are no issues going on, then I guess, girl, girl, do what you do, girl. Go, girl, go for what you know, girl. Go for what you know, Kiki, girl. And it was so crazy because I thought that Kiki was pregnant. Like, I saw her on stage. Now, I, it was a clip I saw going around like a month or two ago. And I was like, oh, Kiki, like, she pregnant? But I didn't want to, like, say because... Like you don't want to be like, girl, some girls ain't pregnant. <laughs> anyway, girl, shout out to Kiki, girl. Shout out to Kiki Wyatt, baby. Let's get into this real mess, okay? So there's a basketball player. His name is Gerald Green. Now, let me go ahead and say this before we get started. Gerald Green lives in Houston, Texas. They say he plays for the Houston, Texas. Gerald Green, I don't want no issues with you. If you ever see me in the Galleria, keep walking the other way. I'm not your baby mama. I'm going to have one of my friends call the cops, and I'm going to tell her to put her best white woman voice on, and I'm going to let them cops do with you as they may, okay? So don't say nothing to me. All I do is report the news. I don't make it. Okay, and if you didn't want nobody to talk about your business, you should, you should have kept your hands to yourself. All right, so this is according to Hollywood Unlock. NBA star Gerald Green's baby mother accuses him of emotional and physical abuse. This is what she put on. You know, I, you know, I ran to her. You know, I ran to her. Um, uh, Instagram page and took the screenshots. This is what she said. I'm sick and tired of the abuse. I've been accused. Well, I've been accused emotionally. She meant I've been abused. I've been emotionally abused for the longest. Today it stops. He begged and pleaded for my son to call him dad. Then looks him in the face yesterday and tells him 
hey, I'm not your dad. Don't call me dad anymore. Talk to your mom. Every time he's mad, he kicks us out and takes my belongings. I left him in October for two months because I was sick of his crap. I come home to work out for my fam. I come home to work out for my family and he turns around and does the same crap. The people around him condone it and don't tell him when he's wrong. I'm tired of the abuse. Today I woke up to all my belongings gone, even my toothbrush. He took my car, left me and my kids stranded, no car seat, all based off of accusations he made for me traveling while we were separated. I'm tired, today it ends. Then she posted pictures um, of her neck and her face. They're bruised up. Um, I'm gonna post a picture um, so those who don't want to see it, it's not really a bad picture. It's just like some bruises on her neck and a bite mark. But I'm just letting you girls know and you guys know that I'm about to post a picture in five, four, three, two, one. Um, so as you can see, she has some marks on her neck, a bite mark on her face. She says this was from when he bit me and choked me so hard I could barely breathe all because he was so insecure. Um, I can't see that part. About me going out and thought I cheated. Every person has a breaking point. Mine is now. I've explored all of my options to diffuse the issues of this. And this was my last option. I've had enough. I'm no longer protecting him. He doesn't protect me or my kids. He constantly puts us in harm's way. He's a manipulative narcissist. A, nar a narcissistic. Um, I've tried all I can, but now it's interfe interfering with my children. Thank you. And just so we're clear, most of my belongings are things I paid for with my hard earned money. Only 25% of the crap he's taken and did who knows what with is what he bought me. I never cross the lines and mess with anybody's belongings, especially ones I didn't pay for. One more PSA, let's be clear. We are husband and wife. He chose to have me and my son move in and had another child. Girl, this is my first time reading all of this. He chose to have me and my son move in and had another child. He, cho <clears throat> he chose to get on one knee and propose. He chose to marry me in the courthouse a week later, all to have more control. I have my own businesses. I've hustled to buy and pay for my own spendings. When you're married and live with someone and share children with them, what do you think happens? Oh, and FYI, I'm pregnant as we speak. I get looked at by his family and friends and people who don't know me from a can of paint as young and dumb because, our, because of our age difference. I've had enough. Well, mama, I'm going to go ahead and tell you. you. You sound like you're young and dumb. Now, I'm not going to go too hard on you because you're going through something right now, right? But you sound like you're young and dumb. But I'm going to let it go. I've had enough. Be kind and don't speak on crap until you live, until you live it yourself and walk in the same shoes. God bless. Well, mama, this is the thing. Nobody even knew about you are this uh, man who likes to beat on you and emotionally, Gerald Green. Um, you put your business out there. So now, of course, you open up that door. People are going to walk on in. Um, and people, of course, like me, we're going to have our opinion about the situation. I hope that you heal. I hope you get whatever you need to get out of the situation. I hope you leave. I hope whatever's going to happen to Gerald Green happens to Gerald Green. I believe everything she's saying. I believe a lot of these men, especially when you start talking about these men who are pretty much catered to, 
they have a false sense of importance. And they think that the world is supposed to just basically bow down at their feet. And the first person they usually take it out on when they don't get their way or they've just been a complete asshole is their baby mama, their wife, their wife, girlfriend. And then when you have someone like Joe Green, I don't know how much money he makes. Let's look it up. Hold up. I got my laptop right here. Hold up. Let's look it up. Let's see what his what let's see what the what the what the Google say. Let's see. Let's see how much Gerald Green is worth. Okay. Okay, let's see he has a net worth of twenty million dollars. Okay, he has a net worth of twenty million dollars. Okay. Um, so you have someone who makes a nice little cute coin and you probably have family members and friends who um, want to just get whatever they can from him that even if they see him or when they see him doing wrong, they probably just turn a blind eye. They probably just turn the other way and don't say anything about it because they're trying to get whatever they want to get from this person. I think Joe Green is full. I think Joe Green is trash. You over there beating on your, you over there beating on your wife. I think you're trash. You're trash. Gerald Green, if you ever see me out in public, don't say nothing to me. <laughs> I don't do the street stuff. I'm calling the laws. <laughs> three numbers. Y'all heard them three? Did y'all hear those three numbers? Let me dial those three numbers again. Let me dial them again. Let me dial them again. Right. I'm going to make sure I dial those three numbers. I can't make my voice sound like a white woman, but I got some friends who can. <laughs> and I'm going to tell them to put their best white woman voice on and I'm going to tell them cops to come and do whatever they want to do. <laughs> so, mm. all right. So anyways, shout out to her. Um, what's her name? DJ, DJ Nicole Dejana Nicole Green is that or Deja Nicole Green Deja Nicole Green honey I hope you leave this relationship and don't be out here just doing all this extra shit and your ass ain't going nowhere cause that's really gonna make me upset now that's one thing that I don't like now if you gonna stay around and let the nigga just knock you upside your head then girl stay but don't come out here in these streets doing all of this acting like you about to leave and your ass don't end up going nowhere. Because then that's when we're really going to be calling you dumb and stupid. Anyways. Adele. Adele's Las Vegas residency to resume in mid-2022. Rich Paul allegedly involved in contracts. Adele is a bird. I'm sorry. I made my mind up the other day. Adele is a bird. Um, Adele's Las Vegas residency is still up in the air. British singer Adele, British British singer Adele's Las Vegas re residency is reportedly back on, but there's still conflict. Reports say that the Easy on Me singer is sorting things out with the Caesar's Palace and Live Nation. Her boyfriend, sports manager Rich Paul, is allegedly helping her work out a deal. Sources close to Caesar's Palace claim that the company expects Adele to rake in around $150 million from the residency. Both Caesar's Palace and Live Nation need to draft a route for the show in the next month. The famous hotel and casino is eager to work with Adele. However, they're unsure if they'll be able to reach an agreement with her. This is the um, this is the issue that I be having. Why is it that you have these successful women who get with these men, and then the men start to have some type of say or control over their money? Like, what were you doing prior to this man coming into your life, Adele? And why is he holding up or having any say so over your business? Do you have say so over his business? I'm sorry. I don't give a damn what nobody got to say. Husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend. This is absolutely dumb as hell to me. Every time I look up, it's always some man being the woman's manager. What were you doing prior to 
this new profession or this new gig that you have that you're now your wife's or girlfriend's manager? Are you trying to make out a deal for her? I think Adele is dumb. I think Adele, I think Adele low, low key is dumb. And I low key been believing the stuff that they've been saying. I believe that her and this man have been having issues. I think she let it be known the other day to me when she pulled the whole, oh, and Rich sends his love. Girl, don't nobody even know that man. Girl, do you really, Adele, do you really think people give a damn about your boyfriend? Like, let's just have a real honest conversation. Do you really think that people, that people give a damn about your boyfriend to the point where you need to let the people know and Rich sends his love? They want your big ass on stage singing some of them songs. You got the people flying out to Las Vegas and you want to cancel shows 24 hours before you can take your ass on stage. Nick Cannon reveals whether his children were planned while adding that mon uh, monogamy is unhealthy. Nick Cannon <laughs> On Wednesday, Nick Cannon, 41, opened up about his love life during an appearance on Dr. Laura, Dr. Laura, Laura, Dr. Laura Bierman's podcast, The Language of Love, revealing his views on monogamy and whether or not all of his eight children were planned. I'm never, I'm never going to say that. Cannon said when Dr. Beerman asked if most of these pregnancies were unplanned. I'm going to take full responsibility. Any woman that I know that I have unprotected sex with, there's a potential to have a child. So I feel if I have unprotected sex with anyone I know, because one, I value everything about me so much. If I've gotten to that point where I can say, where I say I can take off this condom, I'm going to say, she could be the mother of my child. <laughs> Cannon explained, I'm the biggest germ freak in the world. So I don't do unprotected sex within it, with everyone. Every woman that I have a child with, there's definitely a conversation about, wow, how amazing would this be? I feel like every woman I have a child with are amazing mothers. And there was a thought process going into like, man, she would be an amazing mother. She's desired children. I can't wait to see what type of mother she would be. No, my camera wasn't my camera wasn't broken. I just didn't know what to say. The cannon is a mess. The cannon is a hot mess. The candidate want to sit here and tell us that he's a drama folk, but girl, you have girl, girl, you have eight children, and I think five baby mamas. You're the biggest drama folk in the world. That you, girl, and then all your kids are pretty much around the same age, except for my, my Rock and Monroe. Okay, the other ones are pretty much around the same age, so that means that you're sleeping with these women unprotected around the same time. <sighs> And then in one part, I even read that he said he uses two condoms. I don't know if y'all know about this or not. Maybe they didn't teach y'all girls. Maybe y'all was too busy fucking and sucking in high school. But you do know that if you wear two condoms, like, it's a good chance that the condoms could, like, you're not supposed to wear two condoms. Maybe I was, girl, I'm going to say, maybe I was fucking and sucking, but I wasn't, though, girl. Maybe I wasn't paying attention, but I don't think you're supposed to use um, two condoms. You're only supposed to use one because of the friction. So even with him saying that he uses two condoms, like he'll use two condoms sometimes. I read that in another article somewhere on somebody's page. It's like, girl, you're still, <laughs> for you to sit here and say you're a germaphobe. <laughs> are you a germaphobe? You're a germaphobe that, you, that, all, that most of your kids are around the same age. You just fucking bitches raw, but you're a germaphobe. Nick Cannon is a walking mess. <laughs> girl, girl. I mean, why see Nick Cannon is a walking Hot ass mess. <laughs> Ooh, it's a it's a law I want to talk about Nick Cannon, but girl, I have to do Nick Cannon in doses. Y'all see, I haven't talked about Kanye in how long? Because Kanye was, but I can't. I don't know how the other girls do it. I be having to take a break from the girls because y'all ain't about to have me over here worked up, <laughs> girl. Anyways, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.